Hey guys. All right, I want to talk about balance in relationships. And I have to start by saying the most important thing is to love and respect yourself, to value yourself above all else. Because if you're not loving yourself, you're never going to have a balanced relationship. You need to see and understand yourself first. You're never going to truly have an understanding of the other person in any kind of relationship. You know, friendship, family, romantic. If you don't understand yourself, you're always going to have expectations and you're always going to be disappointed. So the most important thing in any relationship is self-love and self-understanding. Now, for there to be balance, there needs to be a reciprocation of energies, of give and take. Put my crystals down. Okay. For any relationship, when there's balance, you meet in the middle. And, you know, if one person's down a little, the other's supporting them. But they're always meeting in the middle and they're always flowing. That's a healthy relationship where they just flow together. There's an equal reciprocation of giving and receiving. Now, for unhealthy relationships, there's usually the giver and someone that's not really reciprocating, either a taker or just not reciprocating. So this giver is just giving to nothing. They're giving all their energy away and it's going nowhere. This person might be taking it, but they're just spewing their energy and just giving and giving. And this is where self-love comes in because if you're not loving yourself, you're going to continue giving where there's no reciprocation because you want love back. Because you have expectations that if I'm giving this love, I will get it back. That is not self-love. That is an unbalanced kind of relationship. Healthy relationships have reciprocation. They are balanced. And it's hard to not have expectations. I know it's hard, but you have to understand, you know, that... People are different. People operate different. So, when you're not having a balanced give and take, a balanced giving and receiving kind of interaction with somebody, the best thing you can do that is self-loving is to stop giving. You can hold space. You can still be there to support that person, but if you're not receiving anything in return, stop giving. That is the best thing you can do that is self-loving. Hold space, but stop giving. Because you're just wasting your energy. And, you know, people go through things. Sometimes they have nothing to give. That's fine. You know, real friends, you know, real people, like genuine people will still be there for you. But if there is no reciprocation, you have to stop giving and you have to focus on yourself. Because if you continue giving, that's not self-loving and that is forming expectations that by giving, you should receive. There should be no expectations. In a way, it's a catch-22. 
because, you know, in healthy relationships, there is giving and receiving, but you don't expect it. You don't expect that I'm giving you this, so you give back. It's just healthy relationships, that's just how it flows. There's just a healthy reciprocation, like, but unhealthy relationships, it, it just doesn't work like that. And you have to look at yourself and understand why do you keep giving when you're not receiving anything? You have to love yourself. You have to be whole in yourself and stop giving so much of yourself because you're not seeing yourself enough that you think that if you keep giving, you will finally receive back. Give to yourself. Quit expecting other people to return what you're giving. Give it to yourself. And then, when you are full, when you are whole in yourself, you will find people that reciprocate that. You will find people that are also whole in themselves, that when you give, they give in return. It's just natural. It's unconditional. There is no need to expect. It is just a natural flow of giving and receiving. That is a healthy relationship. And the core of it is self-love. Fulfilling yourself, filling your own cup, knowing who you are so that you stop self-destructive behaviors and cycles that leave you feeling empty. And it's also a little thing I need to bring up is um, knowing when to fight battles. Because, you know, I have an Aries moon, so I'm, I'm the one that's always running into that raging fire wanting to save everybody, but a more evolved version of me needs to stop and think, is this an inferno where there is no chance of any survivors and I'm just running into a fire to put myself in danger? Or is this just a small portion that, you know, I can help others and not put myself in danger? As I recently had a situation come up where I wanted to help, but my best interests, I sh the best thing I could do was not get involved. So that's just a little message at the end there of knowing when to get involved in an issue and when not to. But um, hope that makes sense. And I love you guys. The universe loves you.